Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have a good old haul. I have a mixture of some skincare items, some hair care items, some makeup items, all of the goods. So if you want to see the beauty stuff that has entered my collection and that I will be using, then just keep watching. A huge thank you to Derm Store for sponsoring this portion of today's video and for supporting my channel. If you have never shopped at Derm Store before, you are in for a treat. They have some very unique, hard to get a hold of brands. They offer professional strength formulas from top tier skincare brands that you can only otherwise find really at a dermatologist's office. They also offer hard to find spa care, natural beauty brands, professional hair care and makeup products, and specialty brands from around the world. I'm excited to partner with Derm Store because it is the ultimate skincare destination, offering customers a seamless experience with all things skin. Some of my favorite brands that I was able to pick up were Ren, Tula, Briogeo, Oxygenetics, lots of unique brands that are otherwise kind of hard to find. They also have an amazing loyalty program and if you join, you do get to save 15% off of your next order. The loyalty points that you earn when you sign up for their program can be redeemed for money off at checkout, which is much stronger than a lot of other beauty loyalty programs. So make sure you do that. You can rack up points, you can save money at checkout, and then of course with that first purchase, you do get to save 15% off your order. Another great perk of shopping at Derm Store is you do have 60 days to return your products if you're unhappy with them, completely hustle-free. They also offer some other really great features, like they do actually have their own monthly subscription box, which is called Beauty Fix, and I was looking into it, and they have a lot of cool brands in there, like Olaplex, Dr. Brandt, and Sunday Riley, lots of really good brands now that I'm looking at their page right now. They also have their own Derm Store experience exclusive sets of products and really great bundles. So definitely take a look over at the website. I really was pleasantly surprised at all of the great brands they have. And without further ado, let's get into the products that I picked up. So we'll start off with what I got at Derm Store and then we'll move into the other random items that I have. I picked up a new sunscreen. I've been really into trying out new sunscreens to see which ones I really liked. And I've heard a lot of great things about Tula skincare. So this is the Mineral Magic Mineral sunscreen with SPF 30. I really like Tula's packaging. I feel like it's so bright and pretty. Let me pull this open. And here is what the sunscreen bottle looks like. I'm pretty picky. I've learned with the sunscreen that I use. So I'm really excited to play around with some new skincare. This feels really hydrating. Okay. And it definitely seems to be pretty translucent on the skin, which I like. This one definitely feels like a sunscreen on my face that I will really enjoy. So I'm excited about this. I did hear good things about this and I've heard a ton about Tula, so I'm really excited to give this one a try. The next item that I picked out was from Ren. Ren is a really great skincare brand. I've tried a few products in the past that I really enjoyed. I actually just finished one of their cleansers, but this is the Ever Calm Anti Redness Serum. Now at the moment, I really don't need this, but come winter as it starts to get closer, my skin tends to get really sensitive and red and dry. And I was reading reviews online and this seems like it would be a great fix for that problem. So if you have dry skin or a lot of redness, this is supposed to help it. You apply it under moisturizer in the morning and under night cream in the evening. And the reviews seemed really great. Ren is really great as a brand for sensitive skin. They are a clean skincare brand. And this bottle feels really nice. It's a nice glass bottle. And I'm really excited. I can't tell you too much now about how it works because right now I'm not gonna have my red skin <laughs> issues. But come winter, I feel like this is definitely gonna come in handy. So I wanted to pick this up. These two were on the new arrivals. Page, so I think they're new to Derm Store. I'm really excited to play with these. The next item that I have is from New Lash. Again, this isn't a brand that you come by at your everyday beauty store. So I got a new bottle of their Lash Enhancing Serum. I've been using this for years. If you go back and watch my videos from like three years ago, I had no eyelashes. Not saying I have a ton of eyelashes now, but you used to not be able to even see this. So this is the lash serum that I've been using over the last couple of years. And it's pricey, but it's 100% worth it. It really does work. So if you have short, sparse lashes, this will help your eyelashes grow. I really love this serum. I know that it works for me, so I just re-upped on this. This is probably like my 
10th bottle of this at this point. It's the best lash serum that I've tried. I also picked up a few hair care items from Briogeo. Love that they have Briogeo. I think Briogeo is a great hair care brand and I get a lot of questions about the products that I use and I've been slowly trying to test the products from Briogeo. So I got a few different things. So first thing that I got was this set. This is the Scalp Revival Soothe and Detoxify. So these are minis. And I said this in a previous video, but uh, I've been struggling a little bit with dandruff. I, it's kind of gone away from the products that I've been using, but I just want to keep up my care to make sure that it doesn't come back. I still will get a little bit of dandruffies if like it's been a few days since I've washed my hair, but for the most part, it's not as much of an issue anymore. And as I say this, I of course have this white speck right here, but seriously, it's not been as bad as it was. But again, I'm really testing out products to see what's working for me. So I want to try this Scalp Revival set and I've tried one of the products in here but there's lots of really good ones. Let me open this and show you. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this is the one that I've tried and I really do think it works. I haven't used it too much because I bought a sample of it before. So this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Cooling Hydration Scalp Mask. I really think the times that I did use this that it helped and this is quite a sizable sample. They call this a mini but this has some size to it. I also have the charcoal and coconut oil micro exfoliating shampoo. So I am using a dandruff shampoo right now that's different from Briochio, but I've heard amazing things about this one. In no, JK. I've been using the shampoo. It is the mask that I've heard great things about. So I had a little sample of the shampoo and it seemed to have worked. And then I've heard good things about this mask as well. So I can't wait to try the mask out. If that makes sense, I switched them. <laughs> also in the set, see this is a really great value you guys. There is a charcoal and biotin dry shampoo. Now this is really, really cute and tiny. And I don't have any dry shampoo right now because I feel like it makes my dandruff worse. So this is really nice because it's made for bad scalps. So, And then this next one I'm also very excited about because a lot of you guys recommended to me tea tree oil. So they actually have a charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment here. It's really, really tiny, but again, I'm really excited to test it out. And obviously, if any of these products work for me, I would definitely pick up the full size. But I thought this was a really great set. It was a fabulous value, and it's a great way to test and see what works for me and what won't work for me. I also picked up the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Detangling Spray. I have very tangly hair because I do have curls and waves and so I've been using cheaper detangling sprays but I did want to give this Briogeo one a try because like I said I really like Briogeo and I love a good detangling spray so we will see the packaging looks really cute I haven't tried anything in this haul yet so I can't tell you how it works for me yet so I'll have to keep you guys updated but this is the new detangling spray that I'm going to open up once I finish up the one that I'm using I have a good feeling about this one. I feel like this one's going to be good. I am always on the hunt for the most amazing gel for my hair to hold my curls. Like right now they're really flat because I didn't style them as I normally do. But I haven't used this one yet. Obviously I just said that. But I picked up the Briogeo Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel. So I'm really excited to see what this does to my hair because I feel like every gel I try makes my hair look different. It makes my hair wear differently. And like I said, I have trust in Briogeo that this product is going to be good. I've never tried a product from their Curl Charisma line and I'm interested in trying more. But this is a start. I will keep you guys updated or my hair itself will keep you updated, but I'm definitely going to try this ASAP because I'm so excited for a new hair gel. Nothing makes me more <laughs> excited. Okay, we're going to move on to the makeup items. I did pick up a few makeup items from Derm Store. While I do think they shine the most in the skincare products, you know I can't stay away from the makeup section. So I picked up a cute, I guess this isn't makeup, but close enough. It's a lip shield from Super Goop, and I think Super Goop has some amazing sunscreens and sun protection products. They're very innovative with them, and I've liked a lot that I've tried, but I've also not liked a number also from Super Goop. So we'll see. I don't think I've ever had the issue of sunburn on my lips, but I've definitely heard stories, and I mean, this was 
quite affordable. Maybe not for a lip balm, but anyways. I thought it wouldn't hurt. So this is the Super Goop Play Lip Shield in Strawberry. So it's a sunscreen with SPF 30 and it is water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes. Doesn't smell like strawberries. It doesn't have a scent to it and I have lip products on so I don't want to put this on my lips. But we will see. This is something to just keep in my purse and I thought it would be good if I'm in the sun so that I don't know, God forbid my lips get sunburned. So yeah, I picked up a primer from Tarte. Is this the primer that Tati loves? I'm really not sure, but I wanted to try it regardless if I was thinking of the right primer or not. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer. And even if it doesn't work on myself, I really hope it works in general because this could be good in my makeup kit. It doesn't smell the best, but this is what it looks like. Anyways, a smoothing primer is really great just to press into the pores to smooth the appearance once you put foundation and whatnot over top. I'm always on the hunt for a good smoothing primer for my clients, but if it works really good for me, then I'll keep it for myself, and if not, I'll see if it works on my clients and what they think, but... I don't buy too much from Tarte, but they do have a few bangers in their line, so I'm hoping that this is going to be one of them. Have you guys ever heard of Oxygenetics? I have, and I don't know where, but I heard their foundation was amazing. It was supposed to feel like nothing on the skin, the most lightweight, comfortable foundation that your skin can breathe through. And lo and behold, Derm Store had them. So I picked up one of the oxygenating foundations and they even say it's a breathable formula that provides complete coverage for healthier skin. It's a cute tiny little bottle. I picked out the shade, I have no clue. Oh, beige. I think it's the shade beige. Anyways, I'm really excited to try this. I'm all for a good, breathable, everyday foundation. The reviews on this are amazing. And this, I feel like, is a secret that a lot of people know about, but people don't talk about. It's not a YouTube favorite, really. But I've heard amazing things about this, so I cannot wait to try this. And lastly, I definitely treated myself with this one. I own hardly anything from By Terry, So I treated myself to one of the most beautiful palettes that I've ever seen from them. This is the By Terry Brightening CC Palette. And let me show you how pretty it is. It is. So here is the packaging. Super luxe. Sucker for packaging. And the scent I can already smell. It has a strong floral scent, which normally I'm not too partial to, but it smells really good and really expensive. But I got the shade Beach Balm. And look at these. I see this palette all over Instagram just because it's so beautiful and I've never purchased it for myself. But I'm really, really excited. It looks so pretty. I love the rose embossments. See, made in Italy. 36 month shelf life. That is heck along. I'm so excited about this. I've always wanted this and I've always seen it, but I could never find a reason to purchase this for myself. So when I saw it was on Derm Store, I was really excited. All right, so those are the items I picked up from Derm Store. I've also kind of been collecting other items on the way. Jose and I went on a little staycation, which of course meant shopping for me. And I picked up some things and <laughs> all of that stuff. So let me show you. I picked up some things for my makeup kit as well, like the Ardell Naked Lashes in the style 420. These are what I call my mom lashes. So when I do mother of the groom, mother of the bride, I find a lot of times they're kind of hesitant when it comes to falsies, but you guys know they make the biggest difference in photos. As a makeup artist, I always encourage my clients for photography purposes to have some false lashes. So these just look phenomenal on moms who are a little bit more timid about lashes. They're super duper short, but they add that thickness. The naked lashes, you guys know, are my all-time favorite. So I picked up some more 420s, my mom lashes. I also picked up a couple Essence Lash Princess waterproof mascaras. This is the mascara that I've been using and loving lately in my makeup kit. It goes by pretty quickly. I find that I get a ton of product on my wand, but that causes it to uh, run out pretty quickly, but it's only $4.99. It makes my client's lashes look the best. So I picked up a couple of these. Also from Essence, I've heard great things about these palettes and it's been a long time since I've picked out some drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I just, I just don't like them normally, but these looked really cute. Again, super affordable and I've heard good things about these. I got two different shades. So this is the I Like To Mauve It Mauve It. <laughs> 
<laughs> but how cute are they? They're like tiny. They're like a little credit card size. And here is what the inside looks like. And you can definitely see why I picked this out. This has some of the most beautiful cool tones, gray tones, purple tones. So I'm excited to try this. And then I also got Dancing Green. I believe these are probably the two most popular ones because the color stories are super beautiful. Let's touch one. These are like four bucks. Not too shabby. Honestly, feel pretty creamy, swatching pretty nice. I mean, this was like a crazy dirt cheap price, like three or four dollars. Those feel really good, we'll see. Also along the way, um, this is my shameful purchase. I, I've been eyeing this palette for a year. I've always said no, I absolutely don't need it. But I finally bit the bullet. I was just in a good mood. I felt like spending some money. So I picked up something from Morphe, the Madison Beer Channel Surfing Palette. I always thought that this was the most beautiful wearable palette, but I, obviously I own every single shade that's in this palette, but I always, always have had my eye on it. And I'm so happy I picked it up. It is so pretty, you guys. <laughs> This is one of the prettiest palettes that Morphe has come out with. Really neutral, wearable tones. It's nothing to be super excited about, but I am. I just like to look at it. I think it's pretty, and I no longer have to stare at it and go, oh, I want it, but I don't need it. I just, I just picked it up, okay? I thought that her whole collection with Morphe was really, really pretty. So, I also picked up a lip gloss that I'd been eyeing. I love a nude lip gloss and i really like morphe lip glosses i think their formula is really great their price is great they're made in the usa they last a long time so i picked up the lip gloss in the shade mercury and it's just this perfect nude shade the morphe glosses don't have a scent either but this looks really beautiful oh my gosh yes Mm -hmm. So I love Morphe lip glosses. I think they're fabulous for the price. The formula is really great. So I picked that up as well. Oh, and just like that, that's all I have for today's haul. So we sprinkled in a little bit of everything here. Skincare, hair care, makeup, and then some makeup kit items, some affordable makeup, all that good stuff. So that's all I have for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just love sitting down and talking about new items that I've forgotten. And again, a huge thank you to Derm Store for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel make sure you guys click the link in the description box and of course everything that I talked about today I will have linked down below as well for your convenience thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video I will see you in the next one have a good one